Hey guys, it's Mo. Welcome to today's video. I hope we're all doing well and as well as we can, all things considered. Let me distract you from all the craziness outside in the world. Today we are going to dabble on in again to a Viseart eyeshadow palette. I have here the Paris Edits, this one. And this one is the one with the 12 eyeshadows. So pretty. Let's talk about it, let's swatch it, and then let's create a look. Come on, let's get started. So I'm on the Beautylish website, just making sure I have all my ducks in a row. She retails for $39, you're getting 12 eyeshadows, and she's a romantic selection of 12 refined neutrals in matte, metallic, satin, and shimmer finishes. I see this as a pretty practical palette, so let me do some swatches, and then I want to do a look. Just for size comparison and reference, this is the 12 eyeshadows, the Paris Edit, and this is Shushu. This is a Petite Pro, I think it's called. So that's the size comparison. They're both really, really, really cute. The packaging is absolutely adorable. Okay, so we flip her open, and you do get a really decent, good quality mirror because I did use this mirror. It's really nice. It's a lot smaller in the littler one, but it's really, really good. Um, anyhow, listen, I'm into those details, so don't mind me, okay? <laughs> anyhow. Here are the shades. I think they're all really pretty, practical, wearable, but you could definitely have some fun. So the way this whole thing is designed is that you can pop out these shadows. You see how you have the little grooves for your fingers? So you can rearrange them if you'd like. You can put them in your own little palette. You know, whatever makes you happy. And the names are not on here. So what I'll do is as I swatch, I'll, you know, put the name on the screen for you. Let's start off with this one. And I'm swatching just finger swatches on my hand. No primer. No fancies. And, you know, swatches never, ever tell you the full story. They just kind of give you an idea of what to expect. Ooh. Okay. All right. First row so far. All right, let's go into the second row. And, you know, with my, ex my experience with Viseart shadows is that they're very, very good quality. They're creamy. They work well. They blend well. So I'm pretty sure these are going to go well. I'm pretty sure these are going to, you know, be very nice, too. Okay, so that's the second row right here. And, and now the uh, third row. I always did this to myself. I run out of swatch space. Oh, that's a pretty color. That gray, kind of gray bluish. It's an interesting color. I like that. All right. Leave it to me to swatch all on my elbow for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Anywho, here are all of the swatches. I think these shades are beautiful. The color story is nice. It works. Ooh. All right, swatch nicely. Let's put them on the eyes and see how they perform. Going in with my usual, the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Eye Primer. I feel like I need to try a new eyeshadow primer. You know, I kind of literally got stuck on this one. If you have any recommendations for me, comment them down below. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna start off with this shade here with my Wayne Goss number three and just fluff that in the crease transitional area and let's <laughs> just giving me a nice light wash of color, which is what I'm looking for. This mirror is great. 
That's the one thing about these uh, palettes from them. They're very travel friendly. They're everything you need right here. And they're a nice size. I mean, because honestly, when's the last time you hit pan on an eyeshadow? There's so many eyeshadows. That's a really pretty color. It blended out so nicely. I really like that color. Okay, I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna go into the shade right here beside it. That right into my crease. Whoa, loosen her there. <laughs> I like how these shades just blend and look soft. Very, very nice. And both of these are matte. Their matte formulas are great. From what I've tried. I feel like I want to do that this... Let's see, hold on a second. <laughs> Get myself together here. Okay, this is a Builder Pro from Sonia G. I want to go into this matte, pinky, peachy kind of shade here. Where is it? This one? Let me put that on the lid. It builds and just blends so nicely. I'm not I feel like I don't even have to do like too much with these shadows. Ooh. I have to go on one of these glittery shades. Like I know it. I can't do it all matte. Like who am I? I'm going back into this shade that we put into the transition. I'm going back into that really quick. And then going back into the shade we used before it. It's brown. I think this is like the dark, yeah, looks like the darkest brown in the palette. I'm going to use that to darken up my outer V area. There are tiny little glitter particles in there, but I think it'll blend out nicely. The one thing about tutorials is that you can really see how product builds, product blends, product performs. And as and as I'm just like applying these colors, you know, going back and forth, they're really blending so nicely. I feel like I want a very bright, glimmery lip lip lid color. I'm kind of leaning towards that. But then this is really pretty. But in, I just did like a lot of pink color with the shushu. I'm gonna take two of these glitter shades. Yes, that's what I will do. This is an Esam W21. I'm gonna take this shade. I'm gonna put that on the beginning portion of my lid. Now this is dry. Let's see how it applies dry and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna wet the brush just a little tiny bit. Oh, that's nice and soft.
I'm gonna go in with my finger. Let's see if we can intensify it even more. I'm just gonna go in with my finger and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. And just blend the two shades together. All right, I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush, the Wayne Goss. What the heck, where's the number? Number three. <laughs> and just smooth everything over. When I went in with the brush in those glittery shades, I got a little bit of fallout, but it's not a big deal. I'm gonna just dust that away real quick. This, for whatever crazy reason, is like my most favorite Wayne Goss brush. It's the number 20. It's this tiny little blender. It is so good for little detail work, lower lash line, it's, and it's super soft, of course. I'm going to take that and go into this shade, the shade we used in our crease, and I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. And then with that same brush, I'm going to go into the shade beside it that we used as our transition. I'm going to wet my pencil brush. And I'm gonna go into gonna go into this shade and put that as a little highlight. Going with brown for my waterline, and then I'll do a little wing liner. Get a wing liner, and I just have all one coat of my. So stupid. So I did lashes, liner, you know, the little finishing touches. Everything I use will be listed down below in the description box. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this color. Lipstick applied, and here we are. This little guy did a good job. I like how everything blended. It was very easy to work with. I felt like I didn't have to do too much. They were just so creamy and easy to blend. Really like how all of the shadows performed. I did use quite a bit. <laughs> kind of wanted to just really dabble on in there. Of the ones that I used, they all worked really well. They worked well together. For the most part, I feel this look is dramatic. <laughs> but as I was building up the look, I could see this definitely being something you could wear often. You don't have to do something super bold all the time, but you do have the options of keeping it light. Like with that pink shade on the lid and these two shades, beautiful. They work so nice together. So you do have options in here. And I do love this grayish color. I definitely need to dabble into that soon. But overall, I think the palette performed really, really well. And the color story, it works. And again, I do love the packaging. I think it's neat and it's very travel friendly. Let me know what you guys think about the new VCR Paris Edit Palette. Appreciate you hanging out with me today. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong. I'll see you soon. Bye.